on a double fest. Get next, please protect. Get a brace if I'm your place. Hello, everyone. My name's Dean. Let's talk crypto. This is where you subscribe for daily Bitcoin updates and technical analysis. We track the price of Bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency markets at large. Today is October 15th, 2022. And. This is an interesting development in Bitcoin and most of cryptocurrencies price action, all right? I've got some good news and I've got I've got some bad news. If that interests you, then watch until the very end. Hope you're having a great Saturday wherever you are. It's Saturday in the DC metro area. It's a great 75 degrees outside. I'm excited to go out later. All right, let's get on with the analysis. So I'm on the hourly time frame looking at Bitcoin. And it's very clear, as I spoke of yesterday during the live stream, that we have five waves up here. Okay. And that, according to Elliott Wave Theory, indicates impulsive price action. However, okay, and here's where I have the bad news. In Elliott Wave Theory, especially in a wave two, wave one, wave two, uh, sort of sequence, you do want for wave two and wave one, so both of these waves to be comparable in time and in price, okay? So the compar comparability uh, or the sort of the equanimity in price is obviously that the price stay between the 382 and the 618 Fibonacci retracement. So I've taken the Fibonacci retracement tool from the bottom of this five wave sequence to the top. So we want to see whatever this is, this two wave sequence to end around here. Okay. So that's okay. The thing we don't want to see though, and what we're not getting is um, equanimity in time. Okay. And so I was saying how yesterday it was very likely a wave one, wave two progression because it had taken us about 12, 13 hours to put in those five waves to the upside. And at that time, it had been 13 to 14 hours for wave two. But right now, okay, so if you take the orthodox low of wave two, which was probably here, 17 hours, okay, fine. Maybe, still, it's still maybe possible. Okay, it still may be possible that this is a wave one, wave two situation, but the longer we linger in this region, okay, the longer this is an A, B situation, meaning you're no longer looking at impulsive price action, you're looking at corrective price action that produces five waves up and three waves down, which is a zigzag, okay? So that's the extent of the bad news okay the extent of the bad news is that okay this may not be perfectly sort of pure impulse where you're expecting five waves three waves five waves three waves five waves right it may simply just be an a wave that's in the form of five waves and a b wave that's in the form of three waves okay and again the criteria for kind of determining that is using the principles or the guideline in Elliott Wave Theory stating that waves of the same degree are equal or comparable in time and in price. So you do want a reversal within the bounds or within the sort of time frame that it took for the five waves up to form. So right now, it's already been, uh, what, 24 plus 16, that's 40, right? It's already been, uh, you know, quite uh, a substantial, uh, it, it's su substantively longer in this correction than it than we took to form this five wave sequence. So to me as an analyst, if I want to be honest, this is no longer a wave one, wave two situation. Okay, so that's the extent of the bad news. The great news about that is that you're no longer really bound by of typical wave three expansion or wave three extension, right? Like a one, six, one, eight to two Fibonacci extension. Obviously you can always get an extended wave, but that's where you typically would expect wave three to hit. If this were a wave one, wave two situation. Now, if this is a, a B situation, you can go into pure impulse and go as high as you want. You can go as high as you want, right? Um, obviously, 
in a zigzag. Sometimes you're expecting uh, the the uh, impulse, the last wave, the C wave, to be uh, one to one, two, three, six of wave A retracement of wave B. However, when you're starting off a new trend, you can just go as high as you want, right? This could just be the pivot before a massive uptrend, which I believe is the case. Okay, so that's the great news. Okay, so this is Bitcoin. We're, we are seeing a rounded bottom, which is good for reversal. We are between the 0.5 and the 618, which is where you would expect the retracement of a zigzag, so a B wave, so the counter wave. If this is an A wave in five waves, you want the three wave retracement of your zigzag to hit between the 0.5 and the 618. So we're getting everything that we want to get from a typical zigzag, okay, in Bitcoin. Now, I have to precise that this is Bitcoin. The rest of the market's not always going to be exactly the same. We're going to go through the, the watch list in a second and see how there may be variations of this. But at the end of the day, what you're looking at is you had a big impulse. You broke this resistance. You're retesting it. You're consolidating. And then you're taking off. And this is the theme that we see recurring throughout the market. Okay, so let's jump in to the smaller time frame and just to see exactly what we're getting here guys if you're getting value please like share and subscribe so let's look at this rounded bottom per se and see what really it consists of and again if this is going to reverse what we want to see is our two degrees of consolidation reversal or sorry two degrees of ab basing which is a consolidation reversal pattern okay so you would use you would see this initial break of structure as being wave uh, the the a wave right targeting wave four of the previous trend and i'm seeing one two three as this composed b wave this flat direction as big b that's your first degree your second degree is likely this right here uh or maybe it even goes as far as this right this would be small a and then small b may be something like this so coming down a little more okay and that would be small b that would be your second degree of ad basing maybe a pivot after maybe no pivot but we're close to the reversal if we're looking for two degrees of ad basing so that's on the smaller time frames guys if you're getting value please like share and subscribe what we're going to want to do now is run through the watch list really quickly and see what other assets are doing again the theme is you broke a significant resistance okay and you retested it now not everything so cardano for instance i think this is a five wave sequence as well this is a three wave sequence down and again like in bitcoin you're forming a consolidation reversal pattern around the 618 region of the prevailing five wave sequence yeah uh but in so let me re remove my drawing so i can see where to pull this retracement so you're you're just barely respecting the 0618 but this to me seems corrective in nature um and Again, on the smaller time frames, it looks like you're putting in an A wave. Maybe this is your big B. Expect another sort of uh, a little more sideways consolidation for the second degree of AB basing before a reversal. But, you know, so the good news about this is it looks promising. If we look at our stochastic RSI, our momentum indicator, you see that you are resetting without the price plunging which is what you want to see so on the smaller time frames so on the 15 minute time frame for instance you're reset you're completely oversold on the hourly time frame you saw that this actually is a level uh, a base level right you're kind of resetting to this base level maybe you go down further but what's important is that you're not dumping and you're still resetting momentum so if we do expect in Cardano, for instance, another degree of AB basing, it would give this four hourly 
us Cassigar aside time to come back to oversold territory. All right, so that's Cardano. Uh, Dot, kind of same thing. We're not going to go through everything with the same amount of detail, but you, you kind of see the same story here in Dot. So this is uh, not something we're going to really go through. Ethereum, you're seeing the same story of five waves up, three waves down situation. Pull your Fibonacci retracement tool. Whoops. That's not where I wanted to pull it. Right here from the bottom to the top. Uh, I think you have a little ways to go here because if this is an AB situation, which I think it is, right? It can't be. It's just there, the discrepancy in time between wave one and wave two is too much for this not to be corrective, okay? But it's corrective in the sense that you're still pulling a zigzag right now. So you should still respect the 0618. But remember these retracements of these A waves, five, five waves, five wave of these A waves that are zigzags, the retracement, the three wave retracement must come down to a minimum of the 0.5 on balance and probability. So we should expect Ethereum to come down a little bit more over here, okay? And your momentum indicator is indicating as much right here. Uh, there are certain aspects uh, to these reversals or to the, this uh, price action that some some assets are doing uh, things a little differently. For instance, uh, reserve rights here, you can see that this wave was put in, right? And it looked like not a five wave sequence, but a three wave sequence, okay? And your subsequent move so here's the three wave sequence I'm referring to right here. And your three wave move, instead of respecting the 0618, right? You came all the way down, okay? You came all the way down. So this is clearly in the, the uh, case of reserve rights, for instance, this is clearly a corrective move. And then you subsequently got this which seems like a five wave move here and then a three wave move respecting the um you know 0618 so i think you're getting your consolidation reversal here in rsr and interestingly enough uh, as opposed to what you see in bitcoin and ethereum and cardano maybe you're already close to oversold in um, momentum for rsr so i do expect if anything have to move sooner than other things, this would be one of the early movers. Okay. So again, you can see the idea of you went up, you came back down, but in a different way. Okay. The whole market's not always exactly the same, but you can see similarities here in synthetics. You can clearly see the five waves up, three waves down, and you've since put in already a strong move to the upside for uh, kind of indicating that your next a big move is up okay you've put in looks like already two degrees of ab basing that's one degree or maybe this is one degree this is um the end of one degree it's it's hard to say you'd have to dump dive down into smaller time frames we're not going to do that here um just let's keep going down the list vra clearly hit the 786 so again not everything is going to be a 535 five zigzag this is kind of a three three five situation because you can clearly see that if you pull the Fibonacci retracement tool on VRA, you're already hitting the 786 almost perfectly. You see that right there. So that is a flat correction right there. Uh, so the good news is, you know that the next big move is up because again, this is the initial move. This is the counter move. You know, you always need that last move that's going to be impulsive. So you're waiting for an impulsive move. The question is when, and the answer to that is whenever this uh, AB base, two degrees of AB basing or this consolidation reversal pattern is finished. Okay? And that's true for the rest of the market. Okay. Same thing with Zill. Zill looks like it's a, a zigzag. Uh, Ravain, I'm going to skip because it's too messy on the smaller time frames. Uh, Kadena looks like a zigzag situation, looks like it's close to nearing its, the end of its AB base. And again, you can see the same patterns and, you know, various assets are in different stages of those patterns. So like, I wouldn't be surprised if Kadena was uh, one of the first movers as well. Um, Litecoin, I can see coming down just a tad. Um, and if it doesn't, well, no, no, this is clearly 
a corrective move that's going to break down a bit. I can see it coming down just a tad to fulfill that minimum 0.5 Fibonacci retracement of these five waves, okay? Um, of, of these five corrective waves. But um, so yeah, that's uh, Litecoin, Dogecoin, uh, nice rounded bottom. It's putting in its 80 base. It's look, looking like it's close to finished, okay? Uh, Dodo putting in its AB base, looking close to complete. XRP putting in its AB base, looking like it's close to complete. So that's my analysis for Bitcoin and um, altcoin market using my watch list as a proxy. Guys, I hope that was helpful. I hope that was useful. That's the quick hit for this Saturday. I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you got value, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at the open of the US dollar currency index around six-ish, right? Uh, to talk major moves in the market, right? Because that's when the real market starts, uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Actually, 5.30, it's pre-trading, but 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sundays, all right? Take care, bye.